thought we could make some magnetic butterflies, but before we can do the kind of sci magnetic science part of it, we need a butterfly. You can choose your material. Um, you can use like an old file folder or some poster board or just a plain piece of paper from printer or construction if you want. You have to keep in mind we want to keep our butterfly light, so heavier paper might not work as well, but it's good to try it and see what happens. So what do we know about an insect? Well, how many body parts does it have? I have a song for that. An insect has three body parts, no more, no less than three. A head, a thorax, an abdomen, it all makes sense to me. Let's draw his body first. There's his head, thorax, an abdomen, it all makes sense to me. What else do we know? A butterfly is an insect. How many legs does it have? Do you remember? Six. And they're attached to the middle part of his body, the thorax. I'm going to put six legs underneath. It will be under where the wings are. Six legs. See him so far? I'm not an artist but it doesn't stop me from trying, okay? Hmm. We know they have two antennae that come out of their head. So I'm gonna draw two antennae on there. And how many wings? When you see a butterfly flying, it looks like they have two wings, but they actually have four. They have two four wings and two aft wings, and usually the four wings are bigger. So we'll make some big four wings, and then some smaller aft wings, and the same on this side, four wing, smaller aft wing. Okay. Then I'm going to color in his wings, which will hide his legs, but the legs are underneath the wings when you're looking down from the top anyway. You can choose whatever colors you want. You can give them polka dots. I'm going to make the aft wings yellow. I'd love to see your butterflies. They all have such good imaginations. Should I color his body parts? What do you think? Maybe I can do this one yellow. The thorax is yellow. His abdomen is blue. And I'll leave his head white. And when you get your butterfly done, you can cut him out. I used one, I used an old file, uh, file folder that's like poster paper, and I already cut one out. And I gave them big circles, because some butterflies, if you look closely, they have big circle markings on them, and it helps them when they're sitting on a leaf. And if a predator is looking from above, like a bird or something else that's going to eat them for lunch, it looks like they've got two big eyes, and they're bigger than they are, and that helps them out. This one, I just used some ribbon. I thought it was pretty. I just cut out a butterfly shape. And for the magnetic part, you need to put something that the magnet's going to, it's going to be attracted to the magnet, so there's a paper clip slipped on there. And I'll show you how they fly next. So now we're ready to test the butterfly. And see if we can make him dance without touching him. So this is the butterfly I cut it, that I made. I cut out. I'd love to see your butterflies too. Um, I took a piece of light string. I tied a paper clip onto one end of that string, taped the other end to a surface. I made a pretend leaf, but it can just be taped to anything. And then I slipped the paper clip over the butterfly.
I have a magnetic wand, but you can use any magnet. So you just go down slowly. When you first get close, the butterfly is going to stick to the magnet. But then very carefully, you take your magnet away so it's not touching. But the magnetic force will still hold on to it, and you can make your butterfly dance in midair. This takes a very careful hand, but you can do it there. And while you have your magnet out, see what else you have around the house that might be attracted by the magnetic force. You can make things move too without even touching them. And then if I want to pick it up, I can pick it up. What about these stickers? Little glitter flowers. Do you think they'll stick? They look like they will. But they didn't. What about the scissors? You can pick up a pair of scissors and your butterflies without even touching them. Pretty cool. Have fun experimenting.